Thank you, Mr. Please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in Reprise session. And again, the floor is given through Nunchi's defense to continue putting questions to this witness. Uh, Councilor Coupe, please uh, wait, and the international co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll be brief. Um, we noted today that the defense, Nunche defense, had put on the interface for this witness uh, at least 557 documents. It was unclear to me whether they were trying to put more because there was numbering that went up to uh, 1,300 entries. Uh, and despite this, uh, the first document that he used in this was not on the interface. Now, um, I'm, I'm not inclined to, to raise objections and to prevent people from using documents because they're not on the interface. Um, however, I think there needs to be good faith here. I think we need to figure out what the rules are going to be. Uh, if all the parties here are acting in good faith, then I think this system works well. I would submit I have questions about whether they are operating in good faith when they put this many documents on the interface and then the first document they use is one that isn't there. Uh, so I would simply ask counsel one question before we resume. Uh, are there any more documents he's planning on using this afternoon that aren't in the 600 or so that are on the interface right now? Mr. President, of course, I immediately turn around and ask um, my consultants whether they put this document on the interface, and the answer was yes, absolutely. Um, so I, I didn't actually, I didn't even know how to do it, but um, so my consultants put it there. And I specifically remember instructing actually putting it on the interface. So um, what can I say? It's there. Uh, I can assure you it's not there, and I think the problem may be that they broke the interface. Um, as I said, that their documents uh, start at number 753 and go up to 1,309, which is how you get to 557 entries. I suspect that maybe the, the system doesn't have the capacity to list the 1,300 documents that they tried to dump onto the interface, and that's why the first 700 don't appear. Either way, we have a bit of a problem here uh, when someone is putting that number of documents onto the interface, and uh, I think there's a problem in the good faith of that. And there seems to be a technical problem, too, in the number of documents that the interface can actually handle. Thank you. And the international lead co-lawyer for civil parties, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Une, une, Thank you, Mr. Une courte observation dans la mesure où, où la Chambre nous a indiqué la dernière fois qu'elle allait probablement rendre une décision sur sur la façon dont les parties communiquent à l'avance les pièces et l'utilisation de l'interface. Donc nous voudrions de notre côté réitérer le fait qu'il semble important que l'interface soit un outil euh, possible à utiliser et que quand les parties commencent à utiliser plus de 500, 600 ou 700 documents sur l'interface, il est particulièrement difficile pour les autres parties euh, d'en faire quelque chose. Donc, à tout le moins, est-ce que quand le volume de documents est important, est-ce qu'il peut être acté que les parties pointe le document sur l'interface en utilisant le numéro d'inscription du document sur l'interface pour qu'au moins nous soyons tous sûrs que le document en question a bien été uploadé sur l'interface. Mais il faudra de toute façon que la Chambre se pose cette question. Est-ce que quand on parle de 500, 600, 700 documents, est-ce qu'on arrive à un outil qui est encore un outil gérable pour les parties quand on sait que les documents doivent être uploadés la veille de l'audience to use those documents the day when they place the documents the day before the hearing. Uh, let, let me, let me, allow me, Mr. President, uh, reply. 
The only thing, there's a few things I know for certain, and it is that the first document that I showed to the witness, I gave an explicit instruction to my consultants to put it on. That, that I know for sure. Because I've been planning to put this document on, uh, or to a witness already for some time. Uh, that's answer number one. Um, the second instruction was to put Krang Tai Chan documents on the interface that, wasn't, that weren't put on by uh, the prosecution. I used uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday to prepare for this witness, so I wasn't able to tell already on Friday morning which exactly, which, which document of the Krang Tai Chan documents I was going to put questions about. And thirdly, of course, um, as we all know, we got uh, a few binders with additional statements. And, um, to be honest, I wasn't quite sure when I should be able to read them, but I, we, we did, and as, as fast as we could. And just to be sure that we weren't get the objection that it wasn't on the interface, we put it on the interface. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's never right, uh, I, I suspect. President uh, Judge Fens, do you have the floor? A, a general comment to that. We are in the process of preparing the guidelines that have been requested, but some of, sometimes in these guidelines we refer to good faith because the alternative is micromanagement of each and every of these issues. Now, I suggest we try the good faith thing first Otherwise, we really get into what I call micromanagement, and that might very well involve the necessity to extend the notice period uh, for material of this size. Obviously, we also have to check how much the interface can stomach before it crashes. So two informations. The one, we are in the process of issuing this. This is a couple of one or two, uh, an issue of one or two days. And the second, as I said, one can exploit each and every leeway. Then we have to start micromanaging, and I don't think this is in anybody's interest. Council Coppe, a question. The document you are, want, you are planning to use now, is this on the interface? I don't know. Um, so inform uh, us what the document is and we'll check if it is there. I just uh, uh, conferred with um, my senior consultant and she again said this document was definitely put on as well as the others, but the interface probably crashed. Mais um, and a so that's why the Q-Sampan team had troubles in finding it, and that's why the prosecution has trouble in finding the first document. The accusation of bad faith is, is a little uh, premature, I would say, very premature. At the moment, I'm not Il accusing you of anything, but I just want to see how we can go ahead. Juge, for, the for the document you are planning to solution. use now, which document is it? So we can figure out if other parties are aware of it. I was going to show the witness E3 bar 2421 E3 So are parties aware of these La documents? Fence. Les the other parties, ont obviously. Connaissance de ces documents? Je parle bien sûr des autres parties. Uh, uh, Your, Hon uh, Your Honor, I recognize those numbers. It, we, we just printed out the, the part of their listing that, di that was, did appear, which is from number 752 to, to 1300. Bien. It's uh, Donc, nine, how, how many pages? 
23 pages. Oh, yeah, 23 pages of, of things to look through to try and find it. So we, all, all we ask for is, is, at this time, is that we, give, we give be given yeah, notice of insufficient time so that we can call it up on our screen. Because finding, finding the actual document, whether on the interface connection right now, is very difficult. But I, re I, I think I recognize those two numbers as ones that I may have used. Mais je pense reconnaître ces deux codes comme correspondant à des documents que j'ai utilisés. The president, Le president. Um, the floor is given to Judge Lavagne to uh, interact on this with the parties. Uh, Judge, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'ai une question à poser à Maître Thank Copé. you, Mr. President. I have a question to put to Council Copé. Ont été mis sur I would like to know how many documents were placed Je on the interface. Cet il en que I understand that you only want to use Or, three this afternoon. A priori, sauf erreur de ma part, je comprends qu'il y en a des centaines qui ont However, été mis sur l'interface. However, I understand that hundreds were placed Alors, on the interface. Il est question de savoir si on peut se fier à la bonne foi. So, uh, can we rely on good faith? Qui vous paraît correspondre à une pratique de bonne foi? And does this seem to correspond to acting in good faith? Again, I resent the implication that I'm not doing something in good faith. What is that about? Pour laisse entendre que j'agis que ne j'agis pas avec bonne foi. Qu'est-ce que c'est cette histoire? Nous mettons les documents sur interface. Nous le faisons de façon appropriée. Donner des instructions à mes consultants. Pourquoi m'accusons-nous de mauvaise foi? Why are we accusing you of bad faith? Merci, Monsieur le Président. 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 Merci, Fine, that's a question I'm prepared to answer. I, I Ça, would like to ask the, the witness a few questions about the documents that I just mentioned. I have a few other documents from the Kankatchan documents put on the interface. Um, five more. Five um, more. So, all in all, I would say total, about 15 documents. Je dirais qu'il y a une quinzaine de documents. Alors peut-être faut-il que ces 15 documents soient communiqués cet après-midi so aux parties pour être sûr que les parties peut-être que les parties auront besoin d'un certain temps pour pouvoir être sûr que ces documents sont bien sur l'interface et qu'ils puissent euh, y accéder. Sure Alors je ne sais pas ce qu'il est proposé de faire, mais peut-être qu'il faut qu'ils suspendent l'audience. Peut-être qu'il faut qu'ils suspendent l'audience. Judge Levin, Maître these are documents, Judge Kranta Levin, Chan documents. Ce sont documents de Kranta just, Chan. Um, for one morning, referred to these documents. He, he, he himself says he knows them by heart. So the, what is the, 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 the point of, 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 of giving the prosecution extra time? They know the documents. It's, 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 it's been on the case file forever. Ils ces documents. Ils sont au dossier depuis toujours. The president, uh, the co-prosecutor, 
Um, do you have Coup any uh, submission to address the court Des observations? Um, as regards to the, the request by the defense counsel to use the full um, 15 documents de la défense and tendant à utiliser 15 a documents. number of documents E3 uh, slash 2421 was used E3 by the co-prosecutor to determine the, the witness. Need some time to review these de documents, uh, to review to read those documents before uh, we uh, proceed with the, uh, 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 the hearing. Uh, um, uh, Mr. President, I think we can proceed. Je we'll pense we'll, que nous we'll follow along de as long as counsel announces the documents ahead of, of when he's going to use them. Uh, we'll follow. I don't think it's necessary for, for us to take a, take a break. Nous pourrons suivre. Je me, il me semble inutile d'interrompre l'audience. Le président, President, uh, Mr. Victor Coppé, you may uh, continue your line of questioning uh, for this witness. Thank you, Vous Mr. President. Um, Mr. Témoin. Witness, before Maître I Coppé. actually turn to these documents, I have Avant one follow-up question, question, question um, in relation to my questions before the break. Suite à celle posée um, avant pause. And that is also in uh, referral to an answer that you gave um, to the uh, investigating judges. Une, une um, en fait you, you, you were talking about the, the taking um, of Takeo Provincial Town on the 18th of April, uh, 1975. Were you involved in actual fighting um, in order to capture Takeo Provincial Town? Précédé la prise de la capitale provinciale de Takeo. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was in a unit of the district, Je unité de district. Uh, during the attack of Takao province, Pendant but we did not um, uh, launch any offensive, Takeo, but uh, the Lonol soldier defeated and they surrender les with the white flag. We did not uh, attack any offensive against them. Rendu en agitant un drapeau blanc, um, nous n'avons pas lancé de force so contre eux. We know how far in your um, estimate is Takio Provincial Town from Krangtachan Center? Quelle distance sépare le centre de Krangtachan du chef-lieu de province Takeo? Answer: It is difficult for me to make the estimate. Difficile à dire. It is probable probably 30 or 40 kilometers away. Okay, thank you, Mr. Witness. I would like to move on now to uh, the documents that I would like to show you. Um, uh, Mr. President, I have actual physical copies that I can give um, to the witness, uh, but I'm also, uh, if that's all right with you, able to show it on the screen. It's not actually about the whole document. It is about um, pages within the documents, and more specifically, uh, the signature in the document. Um, so I would document. like to start with um, Document E3 slash 2421 doesn't make uh, sense to show uh, or to tell the English ERN because I'm showing a signature. So I'm only referring to, 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 to uh, the, the Khmer ERN number that is 00271177. And in that same document, 00271180. Um, with your leave, Mr. President, I Monsieur would like President, to show um, the witness these pages, les pages en um, and it will simultaneously, hopefully, uh, show on the screen as well. President, your request is granted, Council. Uh, Mr. Witness, I would like you to have a look first Maître at 
the Khmer page, which has on the left top the number, the page number 0027-1177. La cote 0027-1177. And now I would like you to look at the middle of that page. Au milieu de la page. And um, it's not an original uh, document, Mr. Witness, as, as you know. We don't have an original document. Original, but on the middle of that page, pas, there is a page, signature. Il y a une signature. Uh, please have a look at the signature, Veuillez and would you be able to tell us whose signature that is? À qui elle appartient. Ma'am. And sir. Réponse. This is the signature of Anne. C'est la signature de Anne. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Witness. Défense, now, merci, in the same témoin, document, I would document, like you to have a look at page the page Khmer ending in the left bottom with on with uh, uh, 1180 same document 1180 ERN uh, sorry E3 slash 2421 and again on that page Mr. Même Witness chose, you see a signature on une signature. would you be able to tell us whose signature that is à qui appartient -elle? And sir, Réponse. this is uh, the same signature of the same person, signature. Anne. Elle appartient à la même personne, Anne. Thank you. And now to the third Question. document, Mr. Witness, that is E3-2425. Khmer ERN 0027 And again, the same question. question. Um, in the middle of the page, you see a signature. Would you be able to recognize that signature? La And sir, uh, this is the same signature. La même signature. Uh, Mr. President, now I would like uh, to show Question. another document to the document, witness. Um, that is E3 slash 2107. Um, with your permission, I would like to give it to. J'aimerais en remettre un exemplaire. The bailiff, the, uh, and show it to the, the, the witness. l'avocat du témoin pour le montrer à celui-ci. Le président, the president, counsel, uh, your request is granted. And if everything goes well, Mr. President, with your leave, uh, it will also be shown on, on the monitor. Si tout va bien, cela va aussi apparaître à l'écran. Um, Mr. Witness, you see a text on a document on page 0068049. You see a text in Khmer. I would like you first to read uh, the Khmer text. Veuillez d'abord lire ce passage en Khmer. Re-education Center 105. Since the date Since since the date, I could not re I cannot read. Uh, je n'arrive pas à lire le reste. Je lis uh, seulement à compter de la date et je ne puis pas lire la suite. Uh, smash, 
the enemy uh, until today i'm totaling jusqu'à ce jour un total de 1500 especially uh, please the party be informed que le parti um, en soit informé this Uh, 15 000 in total. 15 000 so, personnes uh, au total. Re-education center. Donc, uh, um, signature. La and signature. And now my question to you Anne. is: Is question. this, according to you, the signature of Selon Anne? Vous, est -ce la signature de Anne? Ma pet, 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 pet. Answer: Yes, it is correct. Can you explain how you come to that conclusion? Question. Comment pouvez-vous le dire? Le président, please wait, Mr. Benes. Accusation. International co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Yes, Mr. President. He's he's now asking for the witness to provide some sort of conclusion or opinion. I think the witness, as a lay witness, can identify signatures. I'm not sure how he's, uh, whether he's now asking to turn him into an expert witness or not, but I think the question calls for conclusion. La défense considère à présent le témoin comme un expert. My, my, my question is how the witness is able to tell that this signature is in fact the same as the other three signatures. That is my question. I'm not asking for a conclusion. I'm just asking how he knows that the fourth signature is the same as the other three signatures. Je demande au témoin comment il sait que cette quatrième signature est celle de Tahan. The president, the witness, have to respond to this question. Answer. Because under this signature, his name in Khmer is there, so. I can read. I can recognize. Je puis donc lire et reconnaître cette mention. Maybe I'll rephrase my question. Je vais reformuler. We know the name is Anne. Nous savons que le nom est Anne. But my question is, how do you know that that particular signature is in fact Anne's signature? Est bien celle de Anne. Ma pro. Answer. Because I saw his name next to it, so the signature of a person whose name is there. This is the person. Si la signature est à côté du nom, la signature est celle de la personne en question. That is exactly my point. Not necessarily, Mr. Budis. But I'll rephrase. I'll I'll ask you another question. Can you have a look at this text that you just read out? Is that Tahan's handwriting? Do you recognize that? Autre chose. Est-ce que vous reconnaissez L'écriture de Tahan. Answer. Réponse. I don't remember. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Um, Question. I would like to ask you to, to have a, another try. Can you please have a look at the document again? The text where it says 15,000 people smashed. 15 000 personnes Do you éliminées. recognize that handwriting as Tahan's handwriting? Reconnaissez-vous cette écriture comme appartenant à Anne. Le président, témoin, veuillez attendre. Accusation. Witness, international co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Le co-procureur. Your Honor, I object to the question as repetitive. J'ai une objection. La question est répétitive. La défense repose la même question. It's an important document, Mr. President. It's featured prominently in the closing order. We will try to argue at one point during the documents hearing that it is a post-79 fabrication. So I think I should be able to ask one more question in relation to this specific document. It's very clear, prima facie, that the handwriting is completely different than other handwriting. Of, um, of, of Tahan. So I think it's a proper um, avenue of asking this question. The President, 
the objection by the co-prosecutor based on the ground. It is repetitive and the witness has responded to the question. Puisque la question est répétitive and the witness le said that he does not recognize uh, the writing. So the witness is not required to respond le to the repetitive question. Pas à à cette question but then maybe I, I didn't hear the answer uh, properly. If he doesn't recognize it, then that's fine. Pas bien entendu la réponse. Si le uh, I'll move on, on um, um, Mr. President, to uh, the next documents that I would like to Il show. Des documents suivants à présenter that moi. is uh, a document that has been shown before un document by the prosecution E3-4145. Par l'accusation E3-4145. Uh, with your leave, Mr. President, Monsieur I would like uh, to show this document uh, again physically uh, to the witness. Ce document au témoin. The President, Président, your request is granted, Council. Mr. Witness, what can you La tell réponse. us about this document? Have you seen Monsieur it before? Témoin, Does it look familiar to you? Nous dire sur ce document, l'avez-vous déjà vu? Vous dit-il quelque chose? But, uh, réponse. Answer. I didn't see this document. Je ne l'ai jamais vu. But um, question. are you able to, ta to, to tell the court something about the format Mais about? Um, the quelque use chose of sur le format de ce document, um, different lines, sur uh, different categories, de lignes, does it in general look familiar de to you? Générale, vous dit chose? President, President, please wait, witness, uh, international court prosecutor, prosecutor, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just want the uh, counsel to be clear on the record which pages he's, he's referring to because this E3-415 has different lists in it. So. Yes, I apologize. Um, I'm referring, Mr. President, to English ERN 0076-2837, French 0076-1093, and 0068-7330. It's the, it's the two pages that follow each other. Sont deux pages consécutives. Le président Copé, but yeah. Uh, Le président, uh, Mr. Copé, please Copé, uh, read Khmer uh, and again, à les and, and also uh, um, document number. Et aussi la code um, document. It, it is helpful for you to repeat um, each. ERN in the three languages, les trois so uh, please do so. We were discussing E3 slash 4145 and the specific page in English, again, ERN 0076. 2837, French 0076-1093, and Khmer 0068-7330. So two pages. So, so pages again, my question, Mr. Witness, does the format of this document, que le du document um, the use of categories, etc., somehow de uh, look familiar to you? Vous dit quelque chose. Mark, Answer. Réponse. It seems to me that I didn't see this document. Il me semble uh, ne jamais avoir eu ce document. No, I didn't see it before. Jamais. Um, again, Mr. Witness, I'm not asking you if je you saw this specific si document ce before, document. but does the format, ce que je vous the way it looks, si um, the way the categories are, are made up, 
ces différentes um, catégories vous rappellent quelque chose Est-ce que c'est ainsi qu'on rédigeait des documents à Krangtachan Answer, no. Réponse, non. And can you tell us why? Question. Et pourquoi I see this form on this paper. Réponse. I never uh, saw it. Je n'ai jamais vu when I was there. Quoi que ce soit de tel I sur never place. Uh, saw it when I was there. Okay, thank you, Mr. Um, witness now in that Merci same E3 témoin. document, E3-4145. E3 I would now like to show Je vais à présent um, vous the witness to my ERN la page 0068736. With your permission, again, Mr. President, Monsieur I would like to show a physical copy uh, to the witness. Remettre au témoin un exemplaire papier du the document. Le président, your request is granted. Excuse me, um, Mr. Notre witness, would you have a look at this uh, specific Monsieur document that ends with page 736? Sur cette page qui se termine par 736. President, Mr. Witness, can you uh, locate the relevant page? Witness, yes. What can you tell us about this document? So I'm referring again, to be sure, to page 0006873636. What can you tell us about this document, Mr. Witness? Does it look familiar? I do not recognize this document. I understand that you do not recognize the document, but can you tell us something whether this document, um, whether the format of this document, the way the categories are being used, is that in accordance with what you remember that typically documents look like? ressemble à un document typique. No. Réponse, non. It wasn't similar at all. Cela ne ressemble pas du tout. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. I'll move on to um, other documents. Merci. Je passe à d'autres <coughs> documents. And uh, these are documents, uh, Mr. President, uh, that we all put on the interface. Uh, but I uh, would, of course, like to give a heads up as to the documents that I would like to read small fragments from. It's respectively E3 slash 2454, E3 slash 2424. E3 slash 4093, E3 slash 2453, and E3 slash 2048. 
And Mr. President, all these five documents are Crown Tachan documents, uh, so I believe they should all be familiar uh, to the prosecution. What I'll do from each of those uh, five documents is read only one page, one page uh, per document. Um, and I will give you the three ERN numbers, but I would like to read all uh, five different pages from the five documents at once and then ask if that is all right with you, Mr. President, the witness, uh, a question. So the first document is, uh, as I said, E3 slash 2454, more specifically English ERN. Um, 00364288, Khmer 00271054, French 00612215. Um, Mr. Witness, it's a document, um, it's a report to the respected base party of Trancoc district. Uh, it's about uh, a certain, what a certain person uh, is alleged to have done, and um, it's about stealing, and uh, the document says that the unit chief re-educated this person four times, and that he didn't listen at all. So that's the first document. Re-educated four times and he didn't listen at all. The second document, E3-2424, um, the English ERN is 00322217, Khmer 00270751, and French 00612215. Uh, also, this is a report, um, and it's about what allegedly somebody uh, has done. And uh, in the middle, it says uh, that this person is uh, good at stealing things, etc. Although we have tried to educate him in whatever manner. That sentence. I would like you to uh, remember the same about E3 slash 4093. Mr. President, this is English ERN 00831489 in English. Khmer 00270790. Uh, and French 00729676. Oh, again, this is a report um, um, and about somebody who did something apparently wrong. And the document says uh, in the middle of the page, no matter how she is educated, she refuses to refashion herself. Mr. President, the fourth document, the fourth of the, f of the five, is E3-2453, uh, English ERN 00388578, Khmer ERN 00270775, and French 00611770. Same same um, background is a report about somebody it says in the middle of the page furthermore this one has carried out activities to wreck the cooperative for instance throwing plates so they break throwing out soup stealing potatoes stealing this and stealing that without end no matter how he is re-educated re so here again a sentence no matter how this person is re-educated and finally, Mr. Mr. President, document E3-2048, uh, that's the page uh, in English ERN 00276566, Khmer 00079094 until 5, and French uh, 00611163, uh, sorry, 00611663. Again, report, this time to Comrade An himself. Um, it says in the middle, or in the third 
a paragraph, request the police make the decision because these two, the base has re-educated them to the utmost of its capabilities. Now, Mr. Witness, this is a long question. I showed you five documents. But um, um, the threat of my question is the same in relation to all five documents. It seems that before somebody was sent uh, to Krang Tachan, uh, people in the district or in the communes uh, tell uh, Ta'an or others that they did their utmost to re-educate the person. Now, this phenomenon, does that ring a bell with you? Est-ce là un, un phénomène qui vous est familier? President uh, Ritnes, uh, please wait and the deputy co-prosecutor to can proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. My, my objection to uh, what Council has done here, he started by representing that these were Krang to Chan documents. Most of them, in fact, I think almost all of them are not. Uh, there are reports from communes um, from the base. Uh, we submitted documents to this witness that were documents generated by where he worked. Uh, I would submit that he's asking this witness uh, to provide, to speculate and provide an opinion about how communes referred people uh, that is outside his knowledge base. Uh, Mr. President, I use the generic term uh, Krang Tachan documents or Trunkov documents. Um, I, I said I think that they are not documents from within the prison itself, but I use these documents to, uh, to ask a general question, uh, whether the witness knows in his capacity as typist, whether uh, people who were sent to Krang Tachan had been re had been re-educated or there were attempts to re-educate them several times before them being sent to Krang Now, I fully agree that um, the witness cannot say anything about these documents uh, themselves because he doesn't know them. Now, this is something that obviously doesn't stop the prosecution from showing documents to other witnesses. But besides this, the general uh, thread of my question is whether this uh, is something what he experienced or what he knew, maybe from meetings with, uh, with Ta'an or others, that people that, who were sent to Krang Tachan were in fact, um, at least in the eyes of uh, the authorities uh, lost cases in the sense of re-education. That's my question. President, the objection by the deputy uh, co prosecutor is not uh, appropriate, and the chamber needs to hear the response from the uh, witness. The witness can respond to any uh, question that is based on what he personally observed during the Democratic Cambodia regime. And Mr. Uh, witness, please respond to the uh, question put to you by the Defense Council, if you still recall it. Witness. To respond to that question, no, I did not know about that. And as for to the uh, other uh, question, that if I was in a meeting with the aunt, uh, the answer is no, I did not attend any meeting with him. Um, Mr. Witness, you, you, you typed uh, documents, you typed Monsieur confessions. Um, what would you, in general, be able to say about the reasons that people were sent uh, to Krang Tachan? Was it because uh, they couldn't be re-educated or, or, or you simply don't know? I did not know the reason for them being sent to the Akrantikian Center. Um, following up uh, this question, um, you have, have stated that, um, or you have given testimony that 99% of people who entered Akrantikian were smashed. Um, my question is, if that is true, 
What was the rationale, what was the reason that these people were interrogated in the first place? Do you know? They were uh, tortured during the interrogation and I did not know why they were being interrogated. But you said you were a typist. Um, you must have known certain things that, was, that were going on. My, my question is if people were going to be killed anyway, what was the reason to ask them questions, to torture them? Doesn't, I don't understand. I also cannot respond to your question because I did not know what they did or uh, what their policies were. Um, and my other follow-up question would be, you said earlier in your testimony that uh, in late 78, according to you, prisoners were sent out, were sent out of Grand Tachan. Um, how does that relate to um, your earlier testimony that 99% of people were smashed. des personnes étaient écrasées. Comment pouvez-vous expliquer cette contradiction? The prisoners who were sent out were the new prisoners, but not the, the old ones. The old ones had all been smashed. And the, the new uh, prisoners who were sent in was at, at the time of the uh, confusing situation, and that uh, was uh, when they were sent out. I'm not sure if I understand, um, but I'll, I'll move on, Mr. Witness. I have a question um, about another topic, and that is the testimony of Sai Sen. Um, the prosecution has already uh, put to you a few excerpts of his earlier testimony, and I would like to confront you with some more passages from his testimony. Um, <coughs> Mr. President, um, I'm Monsieur referring to the transcript E1 slash 257. Um, that is around 10.40 in the morning. In English ERN 01064599. And uh, Mr. Witness, this is Sai Sen giving testimony about you. Et là, M. Saïsen fait une déposition à votre sujet. The question um, is as follows. La question est la suivante. Uh, I would like uh, some details on what you told us yesterday. You said that a soldier or a security guard had raped two women from the mobile unit and had inserted the rifle in their vaginas. Can you tell us the names of those soldiers? That's the question. And then uh, the answer of Sai Sen is as follows. Yes, it was Duik, Duik or small Duik and Sain. There were two of them. And then the question is, were those people punished by Ta'an or members of the committee? Were they punished for these actions? No, they were not punished, although there were regulations from this chief. And another question. Yesterday, Autre question. Uh, you also Hier, talked about the massacre of two young girls. You femmes. said that the elder vous girl had her skull smashed against the tree, uh, and or the younger one had her skull smashed, and the other one had her neck broken. Can you tell us the name of the guard who did that? And then Sai San answers, yes, they were Sim, oui. Moon, Sain, and Duk, Duik, or Small Duik. Mr. Witness, it seems that Sai Sen is accusing Monsieur you of participating um, in uh, atrocities uh, at Grand Tachan. Would you uh, give us your comment on his testimony?
Because I did not uh, do it and I did not know about it. So how can I respond? Um, is Sai Sen making up this story then, according to you? I do not know. Réponse, je ne sais pas. Um, Mr. Witness, Sai Sen has given some Monsieur more testimony. Témoin, Sai -San uh, same um, document, Mr. President, E1257.1. Um, it's uh, on uh, 5 February, page 43, below. Um, English EIN 01064612. Sai Sen is saying the following about you, Mr. Witness. Um, I'll, I'll read the question first. Very well. Now we are question. going to talk about Sain. Uh, the person you say is still, is still alive. It appears, appears that you have referred to him on several occasions. And if I understand, if I understood si what you said correctly, you said that with dit, small duk duk, duk he was one of the most duk, wicked persons. Is that indeed the person you're referring to? And then Sai Sen answers, yes. Sang and Duke were Sain cruel and, and brutal. brutal. And as for Sing, he was not as much as cruel as Duke, small Duke and Sang. Mr. Witness, Sai Sen seems to implicate uh, that you are wicked, cruel and brutal. Would you please give a reaction on that testimony of Sai Sen? Is he right or is he wrong? No, that is not uh, correct. C'est faux. You are not cruel and wicked. Is that your answer? Maître Copo, vous dites donc que vous n'êtes pas méchant, cruel, ni brutal. Bad, bad, bad man. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Um, Mr. Witness, Sai Sen also Monsieur gave témoin, uh, testimony to the investigators of the um, investigating judge. Mr. President, I refer to E319.1.24. Um, that is on question A107, English ERN 00969632. Uh, the question is, did you see Duik rape female Duik prisoners? Des and uh, Sai Sen answers, answers Sai the Sen following. Répond, yes, I saw him raping oui, a female prisoner who was a cook at night. Her mother told me about that. Duik did not kill her after raping her, but she died Duik in 79, and her husband was killed tué, in Krang Tachan. En, en so Mr. Witness, it seems that Sai Sen is accusing Sai you Sain of raping a female Monsieur prisoner. Témoin, Can you give a reaction on that? That uh, answer or that statement is not uh, correct. It is uh, fabricated. Do you have any explanation why Sai Sen is fabricating this about you? Fabricating this story? Yes, you are aware, <coughs> during the Khmer Rouge period, sexual rape of somebody who committed a sexual rape would not be spared. 
So, uh, raped was prohibited. For that reason, such a statement is a fabricated one. I understand that you say that uh, his testimony is, is fabricated, but my question was, would you be able to give us, to shed some light as to why he would fabricate such an awful story? Pourquoi il inventerait de pareilles élucubrations à votre sujet I do not have uh, an explanation to it. I don't know uh, what he wanted. And, and the last uh, um, passage from his testimony I would like to uh, put, put to you. That is actually not testimony that he gave here before uh, this court, but it's a uh, statement that he gave to DC Chem. Uh, Mr. President, that is E3 slash 4846, English ERN 0052774, Khmer ERN 0057724, and French 00943272 until 73. Uh, the question Question. to Sai Sen is the following, it's on the middle of the page. Did they rape women prisoners before they are killed? And then Sai Sen answers, I have seen it once, done by someone else, but for Duik I did not see him do it. Duik used to kill the young girls in the prison. They took the dead bodies and inserted the head of M79 missiles into the girls' vaginas. They called on me to bury the bodies. Duik had asked me if I saw the M79 in the girl's vaginas. I told him I did see it and asked him why he did that. After burying the body, Duik and his comrades laughed about it. And then the investigator asked, is Duik still alive? Yes, still alive, Saisen answers. He lives in Udam Sori Commune. Question, do you know what village he lives in? I only know that it is Udam Sori Commune. I don't know the village. Duik had raped Irat, old female, who now lives in Kabal village. Then the investigator asks, oh, Kabbal. the small, Ensuite, short Iarat over there? Yes, that Parler small one. Said, uh, oui, oui, la petite. Le président interrompt. President, uh, please wait. Veuillez attendre. Are you now uh, trying to establish a fact or are you putting questions to the uh, witness? The chamber gives you floor so that uh, you can put questions to the witness and not to establish uh, facts. Please uh, refresh your question and follow the uh, procedures applicable before this court. Conformément aux procédures applicables devant cette chambre. And Judge Fens, uh, do you have the floor? La juge Fens a la parole. There is a clear protective measure not to identify Fens, the address of the person, neither by asking him directly nor indirectly by confronting him with something. So we just wish to remind counsel of that. Um, Mr. Witness, I um, read a passage from Sai Sen's testimony to DC Chem. He is talking about two instances of rape, and he says that in both instances you were involved. Please give a reaction uh, to that testimony. As I have uh, stated earlier, such an accusation is a false accusation. It is a fabrication. So to summarize your testimony, everything Saisen has said about you, uh, you being involved in rape, killings, etc., is a fabrication, correct?
Yes, that is correct. Réponse, c'est exact. Um, I would like to give the floor, Mr. President, to my national colleague. Maître Copeux, j'aimerais donner la parole à mon collègue, mon confrère national. President, yes, uh, you Allez can proceed. Defense Council, thank you, Mr. President. I only Cela have défense. a few questions for this uh, witness. Mr. Uh, witness, I have a question uh, for you. In 1976, when you were assigned to get the Kantachand office, did your superior give you any detailed instructions? Answer. Réponse. When my unit was assigned to get the, the office, it was to guard, that is to uh, provide the protection of guarding through the district, uh, the education office of 105. Question. Question. Did they set out instruction or policy for smashing enemy or, or taking necessary measures uh, to suppress uh, the prisoners? Answer, no. Question. Question. Another point that I'm still unclear about Autre is chose. that uh, there were two phases that you uh, did your guard duty. One was uh, at the outskirts and the one was uh, part of the internal compound. Ensuite, Can you tell the court the difference? Answer. Uh, the guarding duty was uh, similar for the two phases. However, la initially we were far from the center. centre. And the second phase was closer, Alors, that is to guard the fence of the center. Question. Question. You stated before this court this Vous morning. À la chambre, that when prisoners were killed, you uh, were on uh, guard duty too. Can you tell us garde. where did you get when the uh, killing took place? Answer, so, I think I have already responded réponse. to that question. Je crois avoir déjà répondu à cette question. My six-man unit was assigned the guard duty, that is the east and the press the gate. And when, pe when prisoners were taken and killed, we were not allowed to go and guard. Pour être tués, nous pas à aller la garde. Question. Question. During the time that you worked as a guard at the Kantachan office, Alors que vous étiez garde à Tachan, did they allow prisoners uh, to work les inside the compound of the office? Dans de ce Answer, yes, réponse, they did. Oui. Some prisoners were allowed to work uh, outside the detention buildings. Travailler à Question, what kind of work were they allowed to do? De détention. Question, quel genre de travail pouvaient ils and, faire? Uh, some of them réponse, carried earth or engaged in transplanting rice or harvest rice. Ou récoltaient le riz. Question, did they also raise uh, livestock there, for instance, horses or cows? Est-ce qu'ils élevaient aussi du bétail, comme des chevaux ou des vaches? Answer: Yes, there were Réponse, cows. Oui, il y avait des vaches. However, only the the prison guard uh, tended the Mais cows, not the prisoners. Mais seuls les gardiens de la prison et non les prisonniers s'occupaient des vaches. You mean vaches. the prisoners who were allowed Question. to uh, work within the les prison compound qui were not allowed to tend the cows? Is that correct? Garder les vaches, est-ce exact? Answer, yes, réponse, it is correct. Est exact. 
question. question. In fact, I have three more questions, Mr. President, but we are now past the, our regular time. Mais nous avons Am I allowed to do so? President, yes, you may proceed. Council. Mr. Witness, I'd like to ask you a question in relation to the interrogation. During the interrogation, did you know where the light of France prisoners were allowed to go near where the interrogation si took place? Les prisonniers qui avaient commis des fautes légères and, uh, during the interrogation du time, réponse. nobody Pendant was allowed to go near, including the light offense prisoners. Pas même les prisonniers qui avaient commis All prisoners des were detained légères. during the interrogation. Tous les prisonniers restaient en détention Question. pendant les interrogatoires. As for prisoners Question. who let out to work within the prison compound, did any of them successfully flee? certains ont réussi à prendre la fuite? And so since the time that I went to 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 work there, no no prisoner ever uh, successfully fled. Thank you, Mr. President. I don't have any Merci further Monsieur questions for this terminé. fitness. Mr. President and the international deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Uh, thank you. I'll be brief. I, I have one request relating to the Nunche team's documents for the next witness. Um, they have listed there are 752 entries for the next witness. As we saw today, uh, uh, where they listed over 400, only used 15. I have a request that tomorrow uh, they notify the parties by emails of the actual documents that they intend to use um, so that we're not scrambling uh, like we were today to try to find documents because it's virtually impossible to get them to make use of the interface when that many documents have been put on it. The President, uh, thank you for a remark by uh, uh, the International Co-Prosecutor and the Defense Council for Mr. Nunchir. Please give the list uh, who will use for uh, the next uh, witness that will start from tomorrow. Now it is time for the trial chamber to Le adjourn for the day. And uh, the proceeding will be resumed tomorrow on the 24th of February 2015 from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow uh, we will hear the witness Sreiton. And uh, uh, we may continue to Two TCW five five two, and all parties are invited to uh, the hearing. Um, thank you for uh, Mr. Witness for today. Uh, your testimony uh, before the chamber has not come to an end for today, and you are invited to uh, the court tomorrow from nine o'clock. And and now you are excused and you can return to your uh, place of um, accommodation and court officer is instructed to work with the west uh, with the witness support section to facil facilitate the witness uh, to his um, accommodation and um, and uh, only uh, the, the witness today will come to uh, the hearing in the morning and the reserve witness will be uh, waiting in the waiting room. And uh, duty counsel are also invited to uh, attend the hearing.
The security personnel are now instructed to bring the accused back to the detention facility and bring them back to the courtroom on uh, tomorrow uh, before 9 o'clock. The court is adjourned.